give you guys an idea how long this cleanup is going to take. This truck had three portable toilets and he dropped them off down at the oh, uh, lookout. That lookout, that round one that overlooks the entire valley, he dropped them off there. So there's got to be 20 people down there. Um, that's the main guy right there. Park. Uh, he's with the park ranger service, keeping people out. But just so you get an idea, uh, that guy, he said that from what he knows that they've picked up about 10,000 pounds of debris. Just little pieces, odds and ends. Um, not counting the big uh, the frame that the military, uh, military took away. Just what they've been doing uh, in the past two weeks. They're going to be here, he said, another nine days. Just picking things up. So... I think we are probably not going to see any jets here for a while, especially if these government people are working. Liability reasons, I would think. They don't want the workers exposed to any possible accidents. Look at all the activity here. It's about 2 o'clock on Tuesday. These are not tourists. And look where the debris field is. That is not a tourist. Look where they're staking out the, uh, the GPS grids. Look how far I'm moving. She is way over here. Look at that. She's laying down markers for the guys to pick up debris. Well, look how far away that is. She's already staked those areas out. She's put markers on the ground. But look how far they are. I mean, that's nowhere near the impact area. Impact area is way over here. Down right there. All the people right now are on the other side of this uh, truck. There's about 15 people down there. This place, I'm sure, is going to be closed for quite a while. They're picking up anything that does not belong to the earth. Started talking to one of the guys, and he was pretty cool. He said, Dave. Said they have over 10,000 pounds of stuff, of debris that they've picked up. They take this over to the buckets over to the rider truck. Now, ah, that's the supervisor right there in the turquoise. They're little plier type grips. I guess these guys look like subcontractors, not military. But they're still not letting anybody back there. All those buckets get put right in that truck. And there's more trucks on the other side of that.